Hey, good morning, it's Owen Bigland. This is the Inside Edge video blog. Now, yes, I do know I need a haircut. Uh, it's been uh, about six weeks since I saw my barber, but I've been busy. Um, I had a busy September. I'm going to see him tomorrow to get a haircut. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, it's October 2012. We just finished one of the slowest summers we've had on record here in Vancouver and Richmond. Uh, in my brokerage, uh, McDonald Realty Westmar, we've got one of the biggest brokerages in uh, the Lower Mainland about 175 agents. This is the slowest summer we've had in over a decade. I've got a number of listings uh, that I'm getting little or no phone calls on. I've also got a lot of listings that I'm getting a lot of action on. Lots of showings, lots of phone calls, but no offers. Uh, the buyers are just hesitant and, and scared and uh, there's just so much news out there right now. There's no urgency. They figure, let's just wait and see. I think prices are still gonna be coming down a bit and, uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll play it accordingly. So I wanted though, uh, as I say, I had a busy September and uh, I started this Inside Edge video blog for a reason. I call it the Inside Edge because it's meant to share my insight, some of my inside knowledge and experience on what's going on out there right now in Vancouver real estate. I don't sugarcoat it, I don't put my spin on it, I just tell the facts. So here's one where I'm gonna tell the facts. I'm gonna tell you what I had uh, had happen in September and the sales that I did. I know I'm gonna get some people that are gonna make some comments on my YouTube page here. It's telling me that you sound like a typical realtor. You sound like a, uh, what they teach you in real estate school. It's always a good time to buy and it's always a good time to sell. There's a lot of negative people out there for sure. I got news for you, I don't really care. Uh, I'm not really interested in doing business with negative people. I've got plenty of clients that trust me. Uh, they, uh, they know I'm gonna do a good job for them and they know I take my job seriously. So here we go with it. I had a busy September. I made two substantial sales. These were million dollar plus sales, one approaching close to $2 million. Now, these buyers, these two buyers, have a lot of things in common, and I thought I'd share it with you because I think we can maybe learn something from this. Now, both these buyers, of course, were successful business people. They had to be to get into this price range. They were business owner professionals. They were both between the ages of 55 and early 60s. So they had both, uh, I would say they were both experienced real estate buyers. They had both bought plenty of real estate over the last 15 or 20 years. So in other words, both of them have seen a lot of market corrections. They've seen good times and they've seen bad times. Now, both properties that were bought here were uh, discounted. They had been reduced. One had been reduced several times. So both buyers saw that these properties were on sale. They had been reduced and knew that they would, they would have sold substantially higher a year and a half or two years ago. But they both said to me that they were a little bit hesitant uh, about pulling the trigger on the sale with all the doom and gloom out there, saying that you know they thought about maybe waiting another two months, three months, six months, sometime next year, maybe prices might come down another five or 10%. But they also recognized that maybe these purchases or these homes wouldn't be available six months or a year from now as well. So they knew that now was the time to get in because it might not be available. They were also comfortable with the fact that if prices go down to another 5% or 10%, they didn't really care. As a matter of fact, they told me they didn't care. And it's something that Warren Buffett, uh, you know, the, the godfather of value investing, and Benjamin Graham, if you ever read any of his investing books, these guys have been saying for decades that you are fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. So it was a trait that both these guys had. They both bought when other people were kind of skittish and on the sidelines, they saw a buying opportunity. They also both had a long-term horizon. Both of them were gonna be buying it, hanging on to it for the long term. They could really care less if they didn't buy at the absolute bottom. If prices went down another five or 10%, these guys didn't care. So I'm just reporting what, uh, what happened last month. This isn't my spin on it. I'm just trying to interpret two very successful uh, business people who just bought substantial, uh, substantially priced properties from me and they both had some things in common that maybe we can learn something from them. I'm Owen Bigland, thanks for watching. You can always get a hold of me at owen at owenbigland.com. Feel free to post your comments on my YouTube page as well. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.